everybody, welcome to another episode of Let's Play. Today we're taking a look at Core Space, um, the new um, sort of sci-fi adventure skirmish game from Battle Systems using their sort of uh, high-end line of pre-printed cardstock terrain. Now, this is the two-player starts that we're playing with. We do have a couple extra accessories, basically just a second set of dice, um, as well as the hardcover rulebook, which has some expanded like campaign rules and building your own um, adventurer stuff in it as well. Uh, but for the most part, this is just what comes in the two-player starter set. And we're going to play through uh, the salvage run mission, basically, where we're, we're breaking into a warehouse, trying to get as much stuff as we can, and survive the Galactic Purge, um, which is a robot species that's come out of the Galactic Core, where the supermassive black hole is. And we're in basically the edge of that, sort of the no-man's land frontier, about 3,500 years in the future. Um, there's various Aralian races, one of them called the Quell. Uh, there's a guy named Gak on my crew who gets to hang out with us. And it's a bit, um, I was going to say, it's a bit uh, uh, Andromeda meets, um, what was it, Mass Effect, kind of just from like a, a, a sci-fi feel. Now, you can create your own characters for this, but we're going to be using the pre-generated characters that come in the starter set. There's a whole website for making your own cards and characters and stuff. And you play linked series of narrative missions where you're basically trying to salvage stuff, upgrade your ship, um, upgrade your crew members, their career points can advance, they can gain levels and stuff, unlock new skills, and uh, generally just have adventures. You can play it cooperatively or against each other. And there's the omnipresent uh, threat of the purge, which just gets worse as time goes on. Everything's kind of quiet in the beginning, and it, it gets, uh, yeah, it gets, it gets crazy real fast. So <laughs> we'll show you the table, I'll show you the contents of the box, and we'll get this underway. So here's our table all set up with the great battle systems card terrain. Uh, and we're ready here to go on a salvage run. So this is a big warehouse district. Um, we're trying to break into and just get as much stuff as we can. Now you can search rooms to get random stuff from a, from a bag of cool like loot. And then all of these are actually interactive. You, you can open all these little crates and there's three items of loot in each. Uh, the large crate have larger items like rifles and shotguns and stuff. And we can also trade with the various NPCs that are on the table who will randomly act and do stuff. Now, um, we're gonna roll off or basically just um, even flip a coin for where we're gonna dock. There's four docking points around the the, uh, the table. And then there's six purge entry points where the purge will walk on as they arrive. Our NPCs will walk on when they arrive too. Uh, now you get all of your purge minis. So you get five uh, harvesters which is the little fellas, two devastators, an assassin, and a live one, which is the actual alien race that makes the purge. They're basically just unthinking machines that do the bidding of these guys. Uh, you get character cards for your civilians. Now they can also join your crew, which is cool. So every civilian on here can also be a part of your crew in game or as a hire. So you get four or like four models basically in each crew, but all the civilian miniatures that also come in the box, there's um, this little fellow right here, his name is Genique. There's Hadri over here, and then there's um, Butler. They can all just be crew members too and be hired as well if you want. And of course you can make your own characters too. Um, tons of crates, you're gonna get these cool consoles. They all have in-game like possibilities for you know doing different things. Uh, you, can, you can have them as objectives, they can score, they can do things um, to like the atmosphere or decompress things. It all depends upon the mission, what the mission special rules are. Um, and then there's doors that can be open and closed. So they actually pop out, little hatches. And they can be locked or not locked. So you can open them, close them, um, and then skills and text and stuff can lock them as well. Uh, and then finally, of course, you have uh, this neoprene gaming mat. This actual, like, nice neoprene gaming mat, and I believe it's 20 by 20, comes in this box, which is super cool. So all of this in the starter set, you get the consoles for your characters in hard plastic. Um, it tracks their health, their skill points, which are like, kind of like might points used to activate your various skills. Uh, and this is your ammunition that you have to track before you have to reload. And you also have all of your chits for your weapons. So common weapons, I, I haven't put chits down for these because you basically start with the same weapon. You have a common knife, a common pistol. Uh, but two people do have health items, these little health packs. You can carry as much gear as you can fit into the console here. And everyone also has a class. Now what's cool is the class, like these guys are all crewmen, the class cards are double-sided, so they represent other classes too. There's things like a hunter, a soldier, a tech, and then the support people. All these classes have access to different skill trees, and the skill trees do various things. So for instance, Ariana, she's my captain. You can see I've colored in her basic stats. She has five health, she can take two actions per turn which means she can do two things, move, shoot, fight, interact, whatever. Her career, that's basically her level. Every career point she earns, which she'll earn one for every game she plays in, plus an extra one if she kills like a live one, an alien or whatever, she can choose to unlock another skill in the skill tree. They're kind of like um, 
Stones of Jordan <laughs> in, in Diablo 2. Or uh, they're like your, um, your little stars that you fill in in Skyrim. Uh, and then you have your base skills too. So for instance, she always has this skill right here, just like he always has a Persuade skill. Um, and then you also have this, which is your armor slot. And most of these characters, half of them here, they don't have any in their armor slots. So uh, Turgarde and, and Rykirk, they don't have any additional benefits if they're not wearing armor. But Ariana, her base movement goes up by one without having to spend any skill points. And Gak can do like a power attack action if he's not um, if he's not in any kind of uh, any any kind of armor. But if you choose to don armor, if you find some, it'll replace this little chip, which is super neat. Uh, handily enough, all of these things have a little push out on the back, so you can just use your finger to push them out. So when you need to take them out mid game, you don't have to like upset all your little chits and stuff for marking things. Uh, and that's it. That's our our basics. So we're gonna flip right now. Uh, we play this mission until either all crew members are knocked out, in which case we do the post game, which is hilarious. There's like a teleporter thing with accidents and stuff, uh, or until everybody's you know satisfied their urge for loot and gotten off the table. So the winner of this game will be whoever gets the most dollar redo values in loot, and every loot will have a, a value when you find it. Plus, uh, this center console here could be interacted with to grab some schematics. There's basically a, a map to like further loot, which is on here, which we can go and grab. It's worth three extra sort of fun bucks that can be spent after the game. And full of dice. The blue die is always your starting die. It's effectively a two plus. It has one um, hazardy jam thing, uh, three, oh, sorry, one miss, one hazardy jam, three single hits, and then one double hit. The reds are the ones you add in addition. If So if you have a bonus to any of your actions, you would roll these additionally, and they're basically a three plus with two blanks, sorry, a blank, sorry, two blanks, that's right. One hazard and then three ones. So this one's going with a critical on it with a double hit, and then these ones are all just single hits and potentially a, a crash. You have your purge die, it's a four plus with, uh, sorry, it's a three plus with two single purge and one double purge showing up, which you'll roll as the hazards get higher. You'll see that as, as you track basically higher, gunfire and, um, just going through the turns will add pegs to this. You have more and more. So if you're in guarded level, you got to roll this once, and that's what's going to come on. If you're in watch your back, then the big guys, the devastators, and the harvesters can come in when you get to cover me. New NPCs can show up, but also the assassin, the live one, everything can show up. And then finally, uh, it gets to like super crazy how when you get to purge and kill me, where they're just showing up automatically. You don't even roll the per the uh, the charge level. Everything charges up too, and these guys become more active. Their stats get crazier. Which is bad news for everybody. So we're gonna roll off our straight flip right now to see who is going to be. I'll take the whatever this moon base landing thing is, and you take the other one. Whoa. Oh jeez, moon base landing. So I have the first turn. It's the worst flip. So now start of the turn. Uh, you're gonna increase the purge track by one, and then flip an event card. Whoever the active player is. So uh, purge track goes up by one. Uh, our mission dictated we started with three, and then we flip an event. Now, depending upon what the purge level is, uh, it's relaxed to watch your back uh, or cover me to purge. Right now, we're at um, relaxed. Place two harvesters at the nearest entry point to a trader. In addition, all harvesters get extra action this round. So rising tensions. We'll also tell you how to make your deck. In this case, all the universal cards, all the NPC cards, and then four randomly dealt out purge cards were placed in here. So no traders are on the board right now. Uh, so let's look at, so traders, we'd go with NPCs. So the nearest entry point to a trader is probably this one for two harvesters. I place my airlock uh, over here and Owens places his airlock over there. Now we can have a maximum of three active crew on the table. When crew are killed, they're not removed, they're knocked down. You have to actually drag their bodies back or loot them like their loot boxes to get the stuff off of them if you're particularly cold hearted. Now uh, we start activating and whenever you activate a model, um, they take two actions plus a quick action. It's called an effortless action. Now the effortless actions you can do, you can do things like open a door. Um, you can uh, use an item with a, uh, a little hand on it. So you can use like a stim pack or something like that. Uh, and you can also just move a free inch, an extra inch, like a shift. Move is four inches. Your max move is always 11. Uh, and you get a handy little ruler in here. Now you measure movement in the first activation from this, uh, this uh, access point, which is your little doorway. So I'm gonna walk on four to there. I'll use my effortless action to open the door. So remove it. And then I'm gonna move, oh sorry, and she has a special skill. She actually has a, um, uh, extra inch of movement. So I couldn't make it when I got to the door, but I can make it as I walk out for my next action. So we're gonna walk five out to here. We're gonna drop an activated token on her. So that is Ariana, my captain, and she's now on the table. She's armed with a pistol, which uh, gets a bonus die at short range. Short range is always going to be, whoop, this far. 
Uh, and then it has no extra bonus dice at long range. She has extra melee attack die because she has a knife and she's carrying a stim pack right now. So for you, who's going to activate? We're going to go with Lars. Okay. He's going to just head out on an adventure as you do and walk a bit, walk a bit, and he's going to use his effortless action just to get a free inch. A free inch movement, that's cool. I'm going to go with Gak. He's going to use his effortless action actually just to get on the board. And then he's going to walk his first move, which is four. And he's going to do a search. Now, when you search, uh, if you're in contact with a um, crate, you get to see what's in the crate and swap. If you're just in a room, and a room is dictated as being anything that is clearly defined by like an edge, or in this case also by these bulkheads, so this would be this L right here, I randomly draw an item, so randomly draw an item for me from the pouch. So these are, these are currently all the items that we have, and we'll see what he finds, something cool. Ammo. Find some extra ammo, cool. Mac is also done, so it's over to you. Chase's gonna go, yeah. Effortless action in corner. Oh, no, you don't, you just, you walk out from the edge of the oh, thing. It's yeah, it's, yeah, it's from oh, there, yeah. Okay, so you, you actually, come, that's, it's not the thing. Um, and then you're not standing in the hallway there. Uh, he's gonna. Oh no! You know what? He's gonna walk into the window. Okay. And he's gonna try and dive through the window. Okay, it's actually action. cool. So now, when you dive through a window, you have to roll a die. On a one, you like crack your head off the edge. Yeah. That's three. a three. So uh, a three, I think uh, you get I'm placed. In pretty rough shape. I think you're on prone on the other side. You like crash through the glass. Basically, he does like a Leslie Nielsen, like not good naked gun roll through the glass window. Showering thing of glass. You're prone on the other side. You take a one die attack. He's okay. He's okay. He just comes uh, up a, a crit. Then right his back. second action, he's just going to stand up. Oh, oh that was terrible. <laughs> Nailed it. Imagine this NPC, and this guy just comes charging into the airlock and just dives through a play glass window. <laughs> We're going to go with Roy Kirk, uh, and he's just going to use his free to move on an inch. He's going to move on an inch to there, and then he'll walk. Uh, he'll move to here. He's going to search this little room. What do we got? Show me a good, a good cool thing. Ooh, we got a cool gun. It's a slightly better handgun, but it never breaks. That's cool. This little gear action means that it doesn't um, jam. It doesn't jam. And because I have that bullet symbol, I can spend additional ammunition when I fire to do additional dice of attack. So I can. It's like a rapid fire pistol, basically. Roy Kirk's done. Back to you. There you go. He'll just show up in the room, and then he'll do a walkabout, and he's gonna search this room. If you wanna uh, hold on for myself, I guess. Sounds good. Which finds a better pistol. Ooh, a super good pistol. That's like a long range pistol. You should have the like crazy kind of pistols. Pistol yeah. Officer's pistol. Custom. Ooh, wow. It's rare. It's super rare. So now you only you can never get rare items in the boxes. You only find rare items. Or sorry, you never buy rare items when you build your crew. You yeah. only get rare items on the table. Little truffle shuffle for an inch. Makes sense. So all of our characters are on the table now that can board. Uh, this guy's, you know, back in the spaceship basically monitoring things. And so we're on to the purge phase. There's two purges on the table. Uh, we're in relaxed still, so no additional purge will show up. But these ones have two actions. So now the purge activate on a program. They go towards the nearest thing they can see, and when they are uh, low, they have the assault skill. Or when they move into contact with somebody, they get to make an additional. They get to make a free attack. So he's going to move once. And he's going to move again and go fight this poor, poor NPC. Yeah. Only they only have one action, but they have two from the rising tension. So he's going to roll his attack stat, which is two dice plus the base die. So what does he get? One, and that guy's armor zero, which kills him, so he gets knocked down. Oh, why? Now, I could heal this guy if I wanted to. <laughs> You're damaged, you get this, like, little injured injured token. This jerk's going to go after her, probably, so and we're going to move. walk through windows unimposed. Oh, wow, okay. And, just and then jump right through them. Just jump right through a window. Crash! Gets a charge, do it! <laughs> One, One damage. Uh, she doesn't have any armor or anything, so she'll just take a damage point. Blam! I have the reflex ability, which means I could not take this, but I'm just going to take it's only one point. NPCs go, so NPCs activates, and they have a, a, a behavior chart, basically. So he's down, so he's not going to make a roll. Everyone here is rank one, so we can do them any order we want. So just pick what you want to do. That'll be my Do guy. red? Okay. He's three and a one, three and a one so that's going to be... cover from the nearest visible enemy. Uh, if no cover in our enemies, move random direction. So random I don't direction. we're enemies, so he's just walking to the arrow. And then his second action, two and he Attacks. Shoots. Makes an assault action against the closest target. Uh oh, he shoot one, so it's yep. gonna be two dice. The base one plus one, two damage. Blam blam, shoot Lars. That's I mean, you did cut, you did come in like a wrecking ball, basically smashing your way through a plate glass window. I might just be like the security guard, being like, "What is going on?" So now we remove our activation tokens. Oh no, sorry, we haven't done her yet. Uh, let's see what she's gonna do. She is going to move around direction because there's no enemy. That's right, she can't see anybody, and then she's gonna do it again. 
two actions, and that's to join a team if there's one within close, otherwise nothing. So she goes and inspects this. Or box. they walk in that corner. But yeah. yeah. So we're gonna take off our activation counters, and we're on to the next round. So now play passes back over to you, and you draw the event card. And we gain a purge token. And we gain a purge token. Yes. Oh, so and someone fired a gun. Actually, that's important. He fired a gun at you, so we gain an ammunition. The first time each round a gun is fired, it goes on the purge tracker. And, and then we gain our top return one. And now we're going into the new round. No, end of last round. Now it's a new round. Yeah. yeah. So, it's gonna so another gun bullet could come back out again. That's right. <laughs> Guard. Uh, it only works on relax. Okay, so there we go. Rebel, someone is not happy. Choose an unengaged civilian at random. They make a range attack against the nearest enemy. And then mm -hmm. they make a move action. So, uh, one to three, four to six. Yeah. yeah Five. He shoots me he shoots again. again. So I think you do count as an enemy, actually. Attack. One oh, damage. Oh, poor Lars. All right, well, we are on to activation phase, and you are going first this turn, because you have the the con, Mr. Crusher. I'm, I'm really tempted to just shoot him, but... I, I think it might be the best. We're going to go with Jace, and he's going to walk him. up to this box, and we're going to just search the box. Okay. And so you, that means you get to open it, and you can swap like, things ah! You can swap things onto yours. Whoa! So you got a crazy assault rifle, uh, which has the bullet ability, so you can spend dice on it. An awesome pistol with three dice at close range, and a pistol just like mine, but with two... So I can buy two extra shots. Yes. So I'm going to take the rifle, leaving okay. my knife in the box, okay. and then I'm going to switch my pistol out for... We're looking for value as well, so I'm going to take this pistol because it's worth a lot. Got it. And the last one goes back in the box. And this one stays there. Love your, yeah, your, your effortless action. Whoop. We're going to start with uh, Gak. He's going to make his effortless action, just to move an inch into melee with this robot. And he's going to do what Gak does. Now Gak has a passability of plus two melee dice when he's unarmed. So he's real good at pulling the arms and legs off robots. Uh, now you have an armor of one. Whenever you ex uh, exceed the armor of an NPC or a, a robot, it just kills him. So if I roll two or more successes here, he's just dead. And we do. And Gak just crushes that guy. Now I still have my pistol, which I can shoot this last robot with. And I think I'm going to. It's my last action. So I am uh, in short range probably. Because short is this far. Yep. And that means I roll two dice. My last action. Do it. Blam, so we killed two perch. Well, it comes off of here and goes, oh, your place is different, okay. It goes onto the perch table because I've fired a gun. It's nowhere in the warehouse, it's over to you. Cool, well, we're gonna go with Beck, and he's gonna walk, and then use his effortless to open the door, and then he's gonna use another action just to well, walk. Well, the door stays there. open now, I'm pretty yeah. sure. So it just pops out, handy little thing here. And then he's gonna walk through the door behind the cover here, and just be ready. Okay. We're just going to go with uh, Ariana, I think. She walks five when she walks, so she's going to walk over to here. And then she's going to spend her action to search the bucket and find something cool. What do we find? Whoa, we got like an SMG. That's pretty sweet, so we're going to drop our pistol for that. Uh, we found some armor and another health stem. Sweet. So we'll drop our um, knife. Yes, for the extra health stem. And then drop this armor. Uh, that's basically it. We dropped everything we had into here, all three of them, and then we use our short skill to just get into cover. Basic gear end up in there, and we're holding everything else. It takes me an action to put that armor on, but right now I'm pretty happy they're just moving. He's done. Back to you. Lars is going to go. He's going to use his effortless to drop his health pack on the ground, and then he's going to just walk back to the ship. <laughs> he hurts. Somebody else threatens going to come out later on. Uh, it's well, it's over to me. So we've got Roy Kirk left. I think Roy Kirk's gonna go his one and just go through the doorway to the other doorway. And then we're gonna spend our effortless to open it. Well, that was your effortless to move. Well, that wasn't effortless to move. I'll just move then. And then the effortless doorway. to open it. And then effortless to open one. it, yeah, and yeah. then just move. And we'll walk four. Heading this way. Hello, dead body. Can I search you? Come out. And he's basically gonna move, move right to where Lars was and yep. just pick up that med kit. No, that makes sense. <laughs> Pick up an item off the ground for free as your, your as my quick action, yeah. Reaction, yeah. Everyone's done, so it is on to the purge phase, and we're into guarded now. So you gotta roll a purge dice plus the chance dice. And if we get any purge, they shove that number on the chance die. And it's just harvesters, right? Now. Yeah. One at number one. Oh, right next to me. Oh, good. Oh, good. He's right here. And he's gonna come in from the, oops, he's gonna come in from the edge and move four and just come fight me. Walks right into you. Blam! And he'll punch you with Oof. His two dice. Fist? Two fists. Two fists plus a base. Blam! One punch. One? Oh, so Gak takes a hit. Civvies. And the NPCs get to go. Yeah, civvies. Alright, Red, don't do this to me again. 
three uh, eyeball. Three eyeball. Running to cover. Uh, I think the he's probably just four. going to here. Yep. And then second one, he's just walking around and just and turtles. About. He's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We're here. We're going to walk around direction, so we're going to move four this way four. That way. And then uh, the try corner. and join a crew, but can't, so back over to this corner. Because we're not quite bit. within short. That was That's actually right. pretty close, but not quite. It's like six for short, I'm pretty sure. Uh, short would have been, yeah, there, not quite. Merge increases. And we take off our activated tokens, and we're in a new round. And it's over to me now for the event card. So, it's day-to-day -day business. We're in relaxing guarded out for a stroll. Scatter all unengaged civilians. Uh, no, we're on watch your back. Uh, watch your back, sorry, tourist. One civilian enters the board and the nearest hundred point of trader. If none uh, is available, lower the hostility by once. We don't have any additional civilians. So the hostility yeah. goes down by one. Don't shoot you. Well, Gak, do you just thump this guy? I think you do. We can go over here, which is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna do a quick action to stand over here, and then we're gonna search. And what do we find? Something cool. We got, whoa, big laser gun. I'm into that, uh, to go with our cool pistol. And then we got 2,000 credits. Oof. And then a super cool pistol as well. We kind of want all of this. We really like that gun though. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop our knife and take this and then leave these two. In the box. Yeah, oh, what is that symbol? Overcharge ability, you can spend all your remaining ammo to get uh, basically two to three bonus into it. But I like my, my reliable gun better. So we're gonna leave these in here. Uh, and then we have an action left. I'm tempted to shoot you, pal, but I think what we're gonna do instead is just run to cover. And be like, uh, let's, uh, let's just sit over here away from you. You! All right. Uh, well, I don't really want to shoot, because more, more purge will come. Yes, and they might come to your side of the table. <laughs> I also want you to go away. <laughs> That's also true. So, I think I am gonna shoot you. Okay. And Beck is gonna go. Not Ariana. We're gonna grab, we're gonna grab one of these guys. And he is gonna use his Oh, I check range. He's gonna shoot you with his pistol. He's gonna use his skill. Uh, I think it's called Disrupt. Let me double check what it was called. Action. You lose an action until the next turn, in addition to any damage I cause. Okay, so you pull off your skill, skill token, token, which is once per game for you. Yeah. Expend an ammo. And then I'm also gonna buy an extra bullet with this. To so get two shot. ammo, so an ammo goes over here. Yeah. Oh, we've already done oh, no, yeah. haven't done it. It would, because we haven't done this round, so right, because we lost our purge point. So it's this many dice minus one uh, because you're in cover. So it's gonna be two damage. Two damage. Shablam, shablam. And She's you'll lose hurting. an action. And I'll lose an action. Or uh, effortless action? Yeah, and then I think we're just gonna grab the. Oh, do we just shoot you again? No, we don't wanna shoot anymore. We did our job. And then he's gonna just grab this off the counter with his main action to interact. interact. Yep. The mini objective. All right, well, Ariana's gonna go because she doesn't wanna take any more fire. She's gonna use a health kit to gain two health. Yep as a quick action, an effortless action. And then she's going to spend her last action to don her armor and gain armor plus one and lose her free movement benefit. Then she has the ability, if she wants to, to buy a shot, but we're not going to. He's all done. There you go. He's gonna basically go two and then walk into the room here, spend his effortless to move next to the crate, spend his action to loot for stuff. What do we got? Oh, a bunch of bees team goggles. <laughs> you got a repair kit. You and got a hacking, tool. a hacking tool and some goggles. A sensor. The goggles. We're gonna go night goggling or night shoveling. Is this a free search? <laughs> it's a free search. Ooh, that's cool. So we're gonna take the sensor goggles because they're definitely gonna be good. Yeah, that's handy. And who is worth more money? Taking the repair tech. Okay, cool. Yeah, that one's gonna stay in the box. And we'll throw our knife back in the box yeah. too. Search is an effortless action, which is pretty cool, because this room hasn't been searched yet, actually. I figure we're going to cut this in yeah, half. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, Gak's going to go. Uh, yeah, sorry, if there's a bulkhead here, it does actually divide the room up. There you go. So Gak's going to go, and he's going to uh, just club that guy. Hands. See you later, Purge later. Wow. <laughs> guy's in four pieces. Spend a skill point to actually take a walk, because he can do this, which is a stubborn skill. He can move as a effortless action. Or not as an effortless as a, uh, just as a skill to walk through the door. One over there. Uh, I guess I could shoot you. You could. Yeah, I got my 1-1 one, one rifle, so I think I will. So 1-1 one, one rifle shoots at the medium range. Yep. Over there. So you're in cover, though. So I get two dice, um, but you are minus one hit success, basically. Yep. Going for big numbers. Two hits. Take a damage. 
That was in the back, back, right? Yeah, back, yeah. Blam. And then we'll take our effortless just to walk into the corner for cover. Really forgiving. Anything between 25 and 90% is cover, and then anything more than that is full cover, which means you can't shoot somebody. Going? Can't quite make it to the door in one, so he's just going to use both actions, and then he'll use his effortless to open the door. It's everybody, so we're on to the purge. Uh, so it is harvesters and devastators now. So roll for harvesters first. And we get one, one harvester on three. three. Which is back here. Uh-oh, bad news bears for you. And then for devastators, one, one on three. three. Uh-oh, they're coming in your side. And he can see you too, which is bad. So uh, it is uh, rank, it goes by rank basically, and the, the Devastator has a higher rank, so he'll move first. So walk through the window, because he's like that, and, he's, and then does he it shoots free. Renton in the side. Uh -oh. <laughs> now the Devastator yes. has three dice, that's right, so four dice total. Yep. Uh, and is going to be hitting... Land <laughs> three hits. I'm still alive. <laughs> <laughs> we are still here. Two actions, and that last purge just dives through the window as well, going for. <laughs> I am robot robots, and they get terrifying quickly. So uh, then it's our NPCs. So what does she do? No. Six. Oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh. We're not high enough. If we got up higher, if we were at cover me or more, she would turn into a live one. She would reveal herself to be an alien, basically infiltrating this warehouse. Uh, so then her second action, so she moves then. She moves the direct. No, she does nothing, That's actually. Yep. And then the second action is uh, attack, but there's nobody in short, I don't think. No, I don't think so. It's closest, so she's going to shoot Butler. So uh, he'll have cover though. Yeah. So it's gonna be two dice goes to one dice. Oh no, sorry, it's on the middle range because it's yep. their NPCs. So two dice against Butler. He's gonna cover. No nothing. Damage. No damage because it's my spawn. Oh, then she moves twice in that direction. So she's gonna run towards you. Probably here. Eight inches. No, no. It was oh, the, the direction, direction we rolled. Got it. Yeah. So she moves over there. Defends her box of stuff. Here you go kill those robots. Get him, Butler. He tries to trade with traitors, them. Traitors, <laughs> swine. He's gonna move towards and try and sell uh, you something. Nearest unengaged traitors. So he's headed towards them. Yeah, it tries to sell you and something. Goes like that. And then the other one. Come back. He walks back into the. Uh oh, there's robots. They're coming to buy something and it turns out to be robots come to kill him. Uh, as all the activation turns come up and it's new turn, uh, I, you become active. Purge token and then you get to draw an event. And it says. Uh, what's it worth? Valuable info. The nearest unengaged civilian to a trader makes a move action towards that trader. If they enter base to base contact, they will offer them important details. I think it's going to be this one. And I don't think they're going to make it anyway. No, no but it's still a move action. Uh, mm -hmm. If it does not enter base to base, the intel can still be accessed. If you're to persuade, you can still get the info. But my only guy who could persuade to. used his action to study. Can't anyone persuade? Anybody can persuade. She could try. You could go and try and buy the items off them. He's gonna book it. Yep. He's gonna walk into this room. Oh, there's a there's a there's a juicy gun in there. Um, he's actually there's no med kit though. He could quick action his med kit too. That's, that's basically where we're gonna go. Uh, he was going to quick action his med kit, and then he's going to normal action search. Yeah, gotcha. So uh, draw something so from the bag. I'll heal for two. One, two. And you find a knife. A knife. Just a plain old knife. A throwing knife. Ooh. Okay. Weapons get discarded if they get thrown, but you can use them as a, a quick action, which is cool, as an um, effortless action. So he's done and activated, and it's back to me. We're going to go with Gak. He's going to make a move action here. He's going to loot the box. Uh, and get our credits and energy pistol, crazy energy pistol. And then that's all done. He is going to use a skill, his last skill, to make a move action with his stubborn ability and move out of line of sight and be like, nope. I'm gonna move back to here. Now, you know, what? we'll move just four and then one with our um, effortless. There we go. He's gonna walk back this way. And then use his uh, his free action just to move up to the window here, and look at the robot, and then shoot him with his rifle. With his murder rifle, his new cool murder. It's in medium, which is perfect. And we're actually going to buy an extra bullet because it can do that. Too. Oh, nice. So two, and, and that means here. that's right because we haven't fired yet this turn. And, and you're going to get three good. dice. Yep. I need uh, two successes to take this guy down. This is on the harvester. Got him. Just Barely, but enough. On the, the devastator, then not the harvester. Gotcha. Sorry, yeah, it's going okay. for the devastator. Yeah, that makes sense because this one has to move towards you to actually fight. Exactly. So he's all done, uh, and I think we're gonna go with Roy Kirk. Could you kill back with your cool new gun? We're gonna jump up there. We're gonna do our free action just to move an inch on the corner here. Whoop. Hello, uh, and then we're gonna take a shot with our new cool gun. Uh, it is not. Oh, it might be in short range actually. I'm gonna grab the good. grab the close the gauge and see if we can get in there closer. And then five. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he's gonna spend an extra ammunition 
to up its abilities so that it shoots at three and a base die for four. And let's see what we got. Still in cover at least, but uh, one damage. Second action, he's just gonna walk again. Because he used his free one to move. Oops, move is gonna be this side. Let me move back to here. Back's gonna go. What you can do back. We wanna get out of here. <laughs> uh, it might be time to run. He's gonna shoot this guy though. Yeah, it makes he's sense. Good at shoot the harvester, range. yep. This cool new gun? Yep, and he'll just do the three dice. He only needs two successes. Ah, we'll buy an extra shot. Got him. Got him, yep, two successes. It's gonna kill him. Blam. And then he is going to... We haven't searched that room yet, so we could walk back there, but he's just gonna use his move to basically walk into here, and then we're gonna shut this door again with his effortless action. That makes sense. And just be Stop like... Stop shooting us. Well, let's go with... Um... Ariana now, she's not moving five anymore. She's gonna go one and then three more over to here. Oops, and then she's gonna move again into base space with that. There we go. And her effortless action doesn't really need to do anything, so she's gonna sit there. Round, all right, so the purge. Let's see who shows up. Uh, so we're still on harvesters and devastators. Uh, so harvesters? Harvesters. Two of them on one. Oh no, that's not good for me at all. And then the Devastators. Nothing. None. First of the NPCs. Uh, they actually go first now. Oh, they do, that's right. Yeah, they do. They, they towards do the uh, Gak and yeah, friends. They're going to come through this wall or through this door. Hello. 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 Yep. Walking about. Uh, oh, no, we're not no, there. Not yet. quite there. So there's nothing. Yep. And, and then nothing. nothing. And, and then this Red. Guy. Don't shoot me. He oh, goes wait. to cover. Yeah, he moves to cover. So he'll move around this box. And then. Night Watchman. Walking some more. Walks towards the wall. Faces the wall. You blaze away at a couple of robots, which is probably bad. Uh, so activation tokens come off. Then we gain another purge. And I become first player and flip an event card. Run. Getting close to not watch your back anymore. New event card. We're being hunted. Rel relax to watch your back. Triangulate. The purge hijacked the local network to identify organic targets. If there's no devastators in play, place two devastators in the nearest entry point to a traitor. Uh, it's probably me. Uh, right there. <laughs> oh no! Um, uh, they gain the they. Uh, sorry, they gain a third action this round without the link roll. Oh, I have first action. Uh, I think we're gonna make this real simple. Ariana's gonna search this box and see what's cool in here. What's good, Jab Turkeys? We find Jesus. What is this thing? Uh, jump pack. Cool. Uh, we find raw blue. Energy flash, some kind of rare special thing. And then a grenade. I don't know what raw blue is, so we're gonna take the grenade and the jump pack. Second action move, plus use my effortless action and up right there. And then I'm gonna blast these purge. I'm gonna use my machine gun uh, using my skill to take a free shot. Because I've used my two actions, but I have a range attack skill, which allows me just to make a range attack. I'll use an ammo plus uh, an extra ammo, so I get extra dice here and try and kill this guy. So one goes on here, and I'm gonna get one, and then a bonus one from the um, extra ammo I expended. And we're not gonna kill that guy. Well done, so it's over to you. Well, I guess we just start killing the robots. <laughs> so Jace is the just Persian gonna load no up joke. his kill pistol, Yep. and uh, shoot him. First action. This little guy in short range, he's using his uh, super pistol here. Blah, 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 blah. One armor, so that's stuff damage to kill it. And then he has a, I think, shoot for free skill as well. Uh, if you have the target, the cross heretical. No, I don't. I have the passive reload as effortless, as well as make a range attack with two extra dice. Sure shot, yeah. But uh, we'll just shoot it again with our pistol here. There you and go. That's enough. Take him down as well. Action. Good dive through the window again. No. We'll just okay. sit behind the box. Not going to get that pistol. Gak. He's just gonna unload with his cool new pistol. Uh, it's an energy pistol. So we'll shoot the first one, it's in cover. If I use my free action, he won't be in cover. So we'll just take a free action step, and then shoot. Dice plus the base die, and he lives. And we'll try again, another ammo, Two and down. still lives. And bad, uh, and then he is done. All right, we're gonna pop the door again, now that we know that We've killed the terrifying robots, <laughs> and Beck's gonna come walking on back out. Hello, everyone. And then he's just gonna just gonna shoot your captain in the back. Sure. Because we're that kind of. Are you of good scum. at medium? I'm good forever. Oh, okay. But mm -hmm. medium, I'm definitely good yep. And uh, you know what? 
we're not going to buy... Uh, yeah, we'll buy an extra dice. Okay. Why not? We're almost out of ammo anyway. Go big. Spends an ammo. One. My armor not soaks it up. Because my new armor soaks up a damage. Okay. Well finished. Well, I think it's uh, Roy Kirk's turn then. He's going to take a free action to say a, a effortless action to move. And then he's going to spray and pray with his Uzi murder gun. Actually, his super shotgun. Which will be three because I'll spend two ammo to fire it super hot. You know, shablam into the first harvester. And he dead. Jammed. Uh, it's got the icon for don't care about jams. Sweet. Reliable. If you roll two or more of these, you would normally be jammed, but I have a reliable gun. And then we're going to do it again. Because why not? And we'll be down to one ammo. Blam! Die. Go. Always with the shotguns. Getting work done. Renton. Uh, yeah, lust for life. We're going to do a bit of a walk around here. And he's okay. going to walk to here. And then he's going to walk into to here. And then he uses effortless action to go through the window. Effort. Uh, that's a door, isn't it? That's oh, window. it's a window. Yeah. Ooh. You want to roll the die? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think we'll just hide behind this box for now. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna use my effortless search. You might as well, yeah. Then search the room. Yeah, grab yeah. a rando out of the box. So it's, it's in there, and then we'll get a search icon in here. Gun. Havoc pistol. Ooh. Oh my goodness. So you search this room now. Is it super cool? It's a four shot. <laughs> point oh my blank. god. It's it's the dirty Harry gun. Uh, I guess he'll throw Harry away gun. his garbage pistol. For a Havoc pistol. Nice, he just drops on the floor. Yeah, because that was a search, not a box. That's some good night goggling right there. Everything, I think everybody's done. So it's on to the purge, and we gotta see if reinforcements show up again. Because there's gonna be lots. So, harvesters, two on five. Uh, it's not here. Uh, We're there. Poor lady's gonna get eaten. <laughs> and then uh, the Devastators. One on three. That's bad for you. Hank, he goes first. Uh, yes, because they can. That's right. They can jump, but not climb. That's so right. They can go through. He just smash the window. And he shoots and back. Yes, he does. He just shoot uh, right over there, Butler. Oh, he would because he's closer. Yeah, that's right. He should have shot them last time too. Oh well, that's okay. Send four dice Butler. into Butler. Bye, Butler. Yeah, you deserve. <laughs> he's down the old night watchman over there, and then these fools just start moving up four towards the last of the NPCs. And yeah, we gain a purge. Uh, you become first she player. Does have something to do. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Roll to see what happens. Oh, she shoots, she shoots one me. of these fools. I think. No. Oh no, she shoots Renton, doesn't she? Yep. She's like, that was my gun. One more damage. No. Uh -oh. She does. And then she runs actually twice her move this way. Woo! And then goes again. And then what now? Tries Press to trade card? with me. Uh, line of sight is relevant. Move towards she nearest see, unengaged traitor in line sees of sight. Gak. Whoa. Take me with you. Not quite. Oh. Markers come off. And I think it's a new round starting with you. Bench card, sir. It's going to be... We're at watch your back. Ooh, we slid in the bottom there. Uh, heads up. Each player takes an event card. Then they read their cards. Then return them to the deck. Oh. Players can decide whether to reveal or keep classified so what we they've can, learned. We can see what's going to happen next. Secret or not. You're gonna get crazy! Shoot that civvy. You think so? I think it's gonna I'm, get bad. I'm giving you a heads up. You wanna shoot that civ. It's it might be a little, little reptilian. It might be a little reptilian. <laughs> it might be some reptiles, segmented eyes under there. It might it's gonna get a little creepy in here. There you go. He's gonna just jump through the doorway here. And then with his last bullet, he's gonna Brave, auto pistol. bravely shoot. Uh yeah, that's his last shot. Put it in there. Tata tata. Not Jams does anything. Jams his gun and, and also it doesn't do enough damage to kill that guy. Jams it, it negates all your damage. Anyways, if you roll two or more hazards, your gun flips upside down and you have to spend an action to clear it. You actually need to cover at least. Uh, you can't get around that. No, I guess not. <laughs> He'll just stay in the corner. Okay. With Roy Kirk, he's going to do a free action to swap his health kit to Gak for that ammo because they're in base contact with each other. He's going to use an action to reload. Discarded, and then I think we're just gonna point blank that civilian. Some radio signals from Jace that this may not be what it seems. Now my other option is I could actually try and persuade you. What? No, we're just gonna walk. We're just gonna walk, and we're gonna hope that Gak talks you into liking us. I'm gonna walk four. Just go around to here. What you, got, what you got going on there, One Life Renton? Maybe I should shoot that civilian then. <laughs> no, Jace has to finish this robot up. Okay. Uh, so he's going to use his uh, his one inch move and basically hop back out again and be like, I have to kill this other robot now. <laughs> why, why am I always killing robots for you guys? 
back. So you use your scrub. machine gun, I guess. Because it's my rifle. Two, yeah, it's combat medium. rifle. It's two at medium. Yep. So we'll do three dice again. Uh, we're not gonna buy another one because we're running out of ammo, killing all of these guys. We do it. Yeah. Knock him down. Nice action. Come on, come back over here. Got kind of a quick action, and Gax can walk over here and be like, "I'm gonna persuade you to join my crew." He has a skill of two, so you roll two dice. Uh, you roll three dice equal to your persuade value, um, so your skill value. So I'm gonna get two dice in addition to my blue die, and I need to roll one success to try and persuade her to join our team. Now every NPC round, she might turn into somebody bad. You could I got one. Fail. He's persuade two. Grew so we gotta here. try it again. Your last skill point last, or last action. last action? Yeah. We got there you. Go. So she becomes a member of our crew. Unless you roll a one that's sort of the NPC phase. So she just joins up. Over to you. Anybody left? Yeah, Brenton still hasn't Brenton. gone yet. Yep. He uh yeah, searched the box. First action. There. Yep. Who knows? Maybe we'll pull something awesome. I see a six. That's that's good. Oh, ammo. That's also good. So we've got med pack, we've got ammunition, and we have a shotgun. So he can oh. literally he can hum that med pack down or med, med pack down for two. Yeah. It's like swap in, swap out, like. It would be his short skill to do it. Yep. Hmm. Well, we could throw in our knife, because the knife is garbage. And yep. we'll take that med pack out of there. And I think we'll. Ooh, the repair's worth a lot. I it think is. my search goggles are as well. And you're full of ammo right now, anyway. Yeah. So we're just going to leave it, I suppose. And that'll be what he's done for his first action. Suck back that med kit. Yeah. I think we will free skill, drink the med pack. I was really hoping for some armor. I'm not going to lie. You can always, nice. always grab now something else for your last action out of there. Well, yep. It's not for him. You don't want the custom Outland energy rifle? No. It's I like cool. I like my super pistol. That's you have the Magnum. You got your archer goggles and your, uh, and your super value pistol, so you're pretty good. And then that's him. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna move. Oh. And she's gonna move eight. Walk, walk. Move for here. Gary to swap out for my other crewman. And that's Purge Glock. We're in the little guy phase now. Oh, no, wait, I can activate her. Oh, I do. Cool. She's gonna walk, walk. She's gonna walk, walk up to here. Boop. Boop. And then move. And what happens? Harvesters on six and three. Because uh -oh. they are just guaranteed. Automatically every round. So three and then six is over here. Hello. 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 Oh, they'll move. Oh, sorry. Devastators. Uh, yep. Nope. None. Assassins. Nope. And then a live one. A live one is only on a six. Nope. Nope. Single civilian. We don't have any civilian so models. So in. nothing comes in. So heading over here. Whoop. These guys both head through the windows. Head for the. Psh. Yep. PCs now because she's joined the she crew, but she might switch teams. That's right. Yeah. So if I roll one, she stops being a friend. Nope. nope. Thank you for being a friend. Round the purgulating. It's getting pretty high. I got the event card. Do it. It's gonna be terrible, terrifying. Unseen enemies. So we're at relaxed to cover, cover me. me. The Watcher, from a distance you spot what appears to be a civilian watching you, but it's in fact a live one acting as a scout. The scout disappears before you can react. Raise the hostility by three. Hi. Hi. It's getting pretty sketchy. We're two away from uh, charge where all of the uh, robots hulk out. It's getting pretty squirrely. All right, well, I got activation first. Am I in beat you up range? Uh, yes, I am. So I'm just going to boop. Jump in and then club this guy. Just pistol would have been the exact same thing, but whatever. So uh, let's do some punching, and we get two bonus dice because we're using an unarmed attack. And two successes, but we don't get him. And we'll try again. There we go. He's exploded. Yeah, all done. Over to you. Over to me. Here we go. He's gonna hop into here. Use his freebie to jump through the doorway there, and then take some machine pistol into this guy. We'll add another one. Sure, why not? What's the worst that could happen? Four dice, point blank. Yep, that, that, could, be the, that could be the worst that would happen. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to go with, uh, Ma uh, sorry, Kaori. And she's just going to walk, oops, walk into this thing. And she's going to loot it. Whoop, she's going to touch both these. 
So she's gonna loot it and see what we got. Her last action, she's just gonna start taking her wow, might as well loot it. That, no, no, her action was to walk in. Oh, that's right, and then do so that. Bonus yeah. action, so so she'll bonus. That I'm just gonna move. Move away from One the inch. robots. Yeah. Yeah. Run. Walk four. Hop along. See you later, robot. Give some bullets into this robot over here. Makes sense. He's within five, so. Yep. We'll use the the Uber pistol. <laughs> the dirty hairy gun. Make the moves. We did Does it that time. Kills him. We're over there, Anna. She's just gonna go in. Whoop. And that way we can drop out my other character later on. Short scale into Renton. We're gonna steal that ammo. And then we're gonna walk back into this room. He's gonna go. Actually, sorry. Uh, Turgarde is gonna go. He's gonna walk out four. And then he's gonna move his free one. And then go four again. Can I get to. Is there anything in here still? I was, I was just thinking there's anything in it. Uh, we'll just go two moves to the edge of this. Gonna move around the corner, and then he's gonna plug a shot into that robot. He's probably not quite in medium. Not quite. Uh, so he uses free skill for an inch, and then be in medium. And we'll try and kill that robot before it kills her. Medium's plus one, but I'll spend two ammunitions to gain an extra one for three total. Because he is in cover. He's so in he's cover, that's right. I need three to kill him. That'll do it. So I plug that one robot on, so it's back to the purge lighting. Uh, and let's see who shows up. So we're at cover me now. Ooh, so it's gonna be uh, on a six. Well, two of those little guys automatically. That's right, yeah. So two of the guys, they show up on three, three and, and two. two. So one for me. So there and there. And another. Two to show up. Nope. nope. Assassin? Oh wait, no, Devastators. Oh no, not automatic yet. One yeah. assassin one shows assassin up four. Uh oh. Wow. Uh oh. Assassins will automatically try and target the leader if possible. Yep, they aim for the authority. Yep, and then... Monster on a six. A live one yes. shows up! Where does he show up? On two? Uh, there. An extra experience point though, stuff's getting crazy. So he goes first. He has two actions right now? Yep. And he's, he's gonna, gonna just go, go here go. and yep. open the door. And be like... Hello, humans. Dun dun. Uh, Devastators like, aren't here yet. Nope, so it's just regular. Oh, the assassin. The assassin goes next. Yes. He's going to go eight and yeah. jump almost into melee. Not does he have quite. charge? No, he, he doesn't. does not. Yeah, he actually doesn't quite make it to melee either. Yeah. But He'll he's just close. Be at the edge. I got one, one chance. Reaction. Little guys. Yep. Smash through the window. Heads towards Kauri. From Akira. That's where the name is. Kauri. I was just trying to remember where I knew that name from. It's the. Is it Tetsuo's girlfriend? Kauri. And then I think that's everybody. So it's NPCs that aren't near the table right now. It's your turn. It's your uh, civilians. Does she rather. leave you? Oh, that's right, Yana won. Does she take off? Kauri yep. <laughs> is no longer my friend. So that's it. She's but she keeps all her gear. No, she has to roll now. Her behavior is. She's killing that two. robot. She can shoot that robot. She's freaking out, which makes sense. But she gets her base stats now. And misses. And does nothing. And then second action, she's going to try and join a team. She joins your team. No, I don't think we're within short. Uh, yes, you are. You're definitely within short. Enjoy all these weapons I'm bringing you. She joins Renton. She's like, Renton, save me! To be fair, I did send her out there to get me more loot, so I'm not surprised this happened. And yet, we're going to gain ourselves a purge token, which... So the first bullet that comes out of our guns. We got to, everybody charges up and goes crazy. And you're the leader. We're at cover me. We're at watch your back. Yeah. No, we're at cover me. Cover me. Uh, Gravitronic Blast. If there are no lives ones in play, there are. Otherwise, the live one activates its Gravinotic weapon. All non-purge characters in short range of a live one are knocked back a distance equal to a chance dice roll and suffer mm, two dice. Nobody. Um, mm. Any That's live it. one with no enemy characters in short range has an extra action this round. Oh, so he's going to shoot you three times. Three times? <laughs> if he doesn't charge up, in which case he'll shoot me four times. First action. Okay, Jace, uh, I need you to just kill everyone in the room with your one bullet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it'll go great. I think uh, I think this might be a Renton job. Mm. Renton's going to go, yeah. Remember, you have her this turn as well. Oh, that's true. We're going to go with Renton. He's going to walk into the room. Okay. And then uh, with his freebie. With effortless action, yeah. He'll load up his machine pistol and try and shoot this assassin. Plug the assassin, try and kill him. Oh, and then we'll just do... Just and one of those. everyone charges up. Well, the problem is everyone charges up, which means they might become more durable. I think this is after I He's got... got it, no, it's you place it to me, I'm pretty sure. Well, we'll see. I, I don't think it matters, actually, in this case. Their armor all looks the same. Well, we're going to four dice this, uh, this assassin. We're going to jam our gun. <laughs> <laughs> Renton! All right, jam his gun? I guess, yeah. I guess he just unflips his gun. <laughs> That's all he can do. Yak, you need to get some work done, buddy. So you're going to go over to here. 
and you use your awesome new pistol, which is in medium. Yeah, sweet. Okay, and we're gonna try to uh, hurt the live kill one. the live one with our super pistol. Now we can expend all the rest of our ammunition. How many ammo do you have? I'm not gonna bother. I'm just gonna okay. shoot once. So yeah, you, you get two extra dice. I get two extra dice. I have five dice total, so I'm gonna get uh, two dice plus my base dice right now, and, and I need to get successes. five, four. He's in cover. Five. Five to, five to kill him, that's right. <laughs> you know what, we might as well do this. Yeah, just, just blow, all the rest of it. I was just saying, just blow the rest of my ammunition and try and do this. Two extra dice, just blow so them away. four dice, and we, well, it didn't work for you, it might work for me. Come on, plasma gun, overcharging plasma's never gone wrong for me in the past. I didn't kill <sighs> you. didn't kill enough. They're free me to get back behind cover. Ah, it didn't work, do nothing, the boss do nothing. All right, yeah. back to you. Back. Reload. Yep. And then he's gonna just start pouring bullets into everyone in the room. Oh God. There we go. So he's gonna open with the first two shots into that assassin. Because he's just overcharging his pistol. Yep. Uh, three dice. Three successes. Is that enough? I uh, think you need three. Yep. That was he it. You him. killed him. Assassin's dead. And then he'll shoot again, charging his gun again into this rando. Nope. <sighs> Done. And. Uh, Jace has literally here. one bullet to do this. <laughs> <laughs> he can fire once, he needs to fire three times. Is, I'm like tempted to just run. It's, it's not a bad place, but I was going to use her as bait to suck him into you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we're just going to take off. We're going to go with Roy Kirk. Because, I, I mean, I have a chance. My, my combat shotgun, if I, if I move over here, I'll get him out of cover. And I'll have four dice. That is a six plus and four three pluses. It's like a bad play. So we're just going to take double walks. We're going to move, and then we're going to move again, and be back here, and then we'll move one more. We're at the edge. Peace out. See in the future, and it looks scary. Here you go. She's gonna walk, uh, oh, let's say here. Be visible to everyone, because, you know, reasons. And then she's gonna shoot to this guy. <laughs> shoot back, okay. <laughs> yep, uh, with her with her machine gun. Okay. Uh, so this will be one of her shots. And... Nothing. Nothing. Cover sucks it up. And then she's just gonna chuck a knife at him. <laughs> That's a free action. That's sure. A free action. Why not? It's gone. It, oh, it drops. Right. Yeah, it, it just goes throws away. away. And that is a one and one. Yeah. It does does the damage. Wow! <laughs> what are you doing? You really talked you into joining our team. It's just throwing cutlery at me. Well, Turgard, you're not doing great. You're there's nothing for you to go loot around here. There's oh, you know what you could do? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna walk into here. We're gonna search. At least we can find an item. It was valuable. We found a ranged reroll. It's a scope, a target laser. That's pretty cool. And we'll get that to him. Just one inch to boop. Get through the door. See how John Wick this. It'll be fine. Fire his gun. Last bullet. Last There's no bullet. reload. Four dice. It's a good bullet. <laughs> it's it's only one. He gets him. We're back to the, the ship. It's time to bug out the live ones here. Right there. Yeah. Right. Uh, everyone's activated. So uh, it's purge o'clock. Two autom a automatic uh, devastator and two automatic. Um, so the little guys. Harvesters, harvesters on, on one, one and four. Oh God! One's right here. Hello, my friend. And we're four gonna get charged. Right in the window. <laughs> oh uh, God! And sorry, no. That's a little guy who's there. Yeah, it's a harvesters there. Now it's just don't roll four again. Five. Five over here. Okay, so he's not Devastator. super relevant. Yeah. So, no. And okay. then another one of these won't arrive because yeah. we already because have Because we have one on the table, yeah, that's right. Now, he gets four actions this turn. Three. <laughs> Three base because he's charged up he now. Four. <laughs> uh, so he's going to laser gun her first, then him, and then head for me. <laughs> that's right. His melee is better than his shoot. He might run out and kill. He might actually run out and kill, yeah. Uh, they're not engaged. It's okay. in line of sight. Uh, do they have a shooting stat? Yes. Is the shooting stat higher than their close combat? No. Can they reach and attack? Yes. Yes. Move towards them via the shortest route. So it's running towards her. So you're, it's going to take two. two moves and then a melee attack. So then one, two. The third one will be Third melee. one to crush. Dice, does she survive? No. Almost three. not. She's dead. She yeah. 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 Yeah, she's got one armor. She, I guess, she disengages me. I, I'm not lying on sight, though. Uh, so then it goes to the next closest guy in line of sight. So it's gonna be your Renton. Renton, and he can't get there and attack this turn. He's gonna he shoot. Already moved. Yes, he makes a range attack. Okay, yes. so it's five dice. Uh, four and a blue. Yep. Yikes! <laughs> four damage. Uh, air and cover, I'd say. Oh, all right, three damage. Three damage. Yeah, because there's all this in the way, That's right? True. So you're definitely yeah, in yeah. cover. 
It's basically Kylo Ren shows up and just starts killing everyone. <laughs> Attack here. Actually, the Centurion goes first, doesn't he? Wherever yes. he is. He's going to move to. Yeah. So he's he's going to go eight. Yeah. yeah. He's going to walk it to here and just dive through the window because he can. He's shooting next turn when he walks around the corner there. Yep. Uh, this guy's going to dive through the window and tackle Jason in the back. <laughs> God. Um, you, they have melee three right now, so four dice. You can roll it for my guy. Oh, God. Uh, uh, Jace. in melee? No. Let's see what matters. Take one. one. You're okay. It's gonna get charged. Same thing. Same Three thing. Dice. Four dice. Yep. Just one. One. Wham. Punch in the jaw. Renton. I take off Renton. Yeah. Won't get to attack him yet. But yeah, he's, just moves in. he's in there. And I think this guy goes to walk through the door. He opens the door, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. So it just opens. Getting purgy in here. Well, there's no NPCs left because they're all just splattered. Actually, she's still here. She's just on the ground. The purgulating gets higher. And we're gonna flip an event, and I'm first player right now. And what did we get? Favor the Brave. We're on cover me? No, we're on charge. Uh, common foe, each trader may make an immediate assault action against a purge character. You get a free fight. Sweet. You can do yours first, go for it. Yeah, Jace is gonna fight with his martial arts yep. and just beat this thing to death. So he's one dice always, because he's a fighty guy, yep. and he gets two more. Punch, punch. Crack, crack, crack. Tears it to pieces. Kata. All right, well. We're gonna go over here, and Royker's gonna fight. He doesn't have a lot of melee stuff, so he's just gonna try and hit you. Have to roll a crit here to do anything. Mm ha! Nope. Knife. Because he, he didn't drop his knife. No, he had an he ammo that he dropped. Yeah. He must have, because he had an ammo that he reloaded with. I get first action. Mm. He'll get a free melee attack against me if I do something like this, so it's gonna be bad. You try and run? Yeah, if I try and run. Turgard could shoot. I think we're gonna do the easy stuff first. We're gonna use. You could do a knockback. Oh, is it an attack? Yeah. That's cool. Um, you push the target one inch per hit. If you get three or more hits, it's a prone. If you roll an exclamation point, though, nothing happens. Okay. So if I get a hit, I just knock him back. You roll one, one blue. Yeah. Let's see if I get him. Damn. Yeah, so I push him back an inch. Way. It is an action to do it. That's but fine. Because then, then we can shotgun him. Extra ammo, because at this point, why wouldn't we use extra ammo? Because we keep this handy for close encounters. Uh, and roll four dice. And yeah. peace out, nerd. <laughs> Reaction just to get, get on the boat. I've written to go. Yep. He's going to also try and knock you back. Uh, but he's going to use the fist because he's already a pretty good fighter. Yep. I just need to get a success. So, so you push back two inches, actually. Get out of here. See you later, robot. And then. That was action number one. I think we have to run because that monster's gonna kill us. Yeah, yeah, really or he's gonna kill us. Somebody's gonna so kill you're us. Five total. Yes. I just wanna get a line of sight so I can't see you. Does he have any skills he could do? Not that will save him. He'll go four and one, and then he's gonna use his skill to heal one health. His regen skill, yep. This is divided by a bulkhead, so I'm gonna search this area with uh, the man of the legend that is Gak. Don't wanna do that. No, I don't want to do that. I just want to run like hell. It's a brave play because <laughs> it's coming for you. <laughs> I know, but I was like, I could search this thing. Now nah, we're just going to go. We're going to move. Uh, we're going to move again uh, to there, and then we're going to be one inch right here. Jay's going to go? He's going to go over here, and he's going to drag Renton behind this wall. Can you drag guys that aren't unconscious? Yeah, you just grab move. a leg. If you be defeated, you can't just easy. grab a guy who's awake, you're just gonna leave him. He's sense. gonna walk off. You're on your own, Renton. Alright, well, it's just Tergarde, Tiergard. He's just gonna walk and leave. Peace out. He's coming back on. Lars this is a brave play. He's coming back in. He's gonna walk just off of the dock, basically. But then he's gonna use his hacking skills oh. to target a purge guy within medium, yeah, turn which him is off. to be this guy, and yep. kill him. Just because he's a rank one or two. Kills him, yep. Bye, nerds. He's out. <laughs> run. Run, run. And around the corner. Get in cover. It's Persian time. Uh, you have two automatic harvesters and an automatic centurion. So the first, the two harvesters. Where do they show up? Three and four. Uh, bad four. for you. Three and four. <laughs> the worst possible locations. Okay. <laughs> the Black Marie is, is being overrun. And then the centurion. One. One. For That's me. For you. Uh oh. I got it all. Uh, and then do we get an assassin? No. Okay. And then we won't get another big guy. No, I've got with this guy. Yeah. So he you can, can see. see us and he won't get there in this combat. So nope. he just starts shooting. <laughs> he just starts <laughs> hadoukening mind uh, bullets into so you. Five dice into Beck. Yeah. Who's in? I think it's in Renton actually. He's probably closer. Yeah. They're both in cover. It's yeah. probably Renton. You're right. Blue. And you're in cover. So minus one success. Mm, two. Two. Down he goes. 
Whip. And then Connor. Now you can grab his leg. Whack. Uh, in the back. Two. One, two. Blam. Down he goes. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, so now he's moving, though. Uh, yes. And he'll be moving towards you. Towards me, yeah. Four. We've done all we needed to do. Shoot me twice. Yeah. And he's charged up to four dice now. I'll take some reds this oh, time. Oh, Jesus. One, two, three. I'm in the open. Oh, yeah. One more. <laughs> Zap. Four. Dead. four. Stay conscious. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Why? They, they bash on the doors, but uh, <laughs> I don't think it matters now. No, that's everybody down. So we have to use our teleporters to get out of here. So when you die, so in the aftermath of all of this, we have to roll to see what happens. Now, nobody wants to use our teleporters to get away, but if you don't get dragged off the board, then that's what happens. Um, and you basically roll a die, and there's a table that you have to consult to see what happens. You roll chance dice and, and see. If you roll a six, everything's fine. Uh, I believe if you roll a five... Uh, you basically you lose your gear, but you're okay. I think you just have to roll a six, man. I think it was basically just roll a six. Yeah, Traction on 56. Emergency teleport. Yeah, I emergency got teleport. Here. Got it? Okay. Uh, well, I'll go first then. Okay. Come on, Beck. You coming home? It's yeah, six. He came home with gear. all of his gear. So Beck, oh. his teleporter actually works. Now, what, what else could happen when you roll? Well, let's see what happens to Renton. And okay. We'll start from there. Five. Five. He also gets teleported safely, but all of his gear is discarded. So you lose all the gear that Ren was carrying. Bye. And that's all your characters. My fancy stuff. And I lose Gak, and he was also carrying some pretty cool gear. And what, he... A four? There's a four. Uh, you survived the trip, but there's been an accident in the poorest way. They take longer to recuperate than normal, um, but you learn a lesson. So you get an extra career point. That's cool, so he levels up miss basically. Your next he makes your next mission. But I lose my gear either. Yes, if you had rolled a three, you would have been teleported onto the wrong ship. Yeah, um, and missed two games. And that would have been missed two games, or pay four... Fun dollars, and then immediately try and re-teleport. Whoa, which is risky. Uh, if you had rolled a one, you die, and you lose all your equipment. Right. But if you rolled a two, it's a cruel trick. The character arrives safe and well, but they're not the same person as when they left. Shuffle all the trader boards not being used for the current campaign, including those for civilians and gangers. Pick one at random. This is your new trader's identity. Swap out the model and the trader board for the new one. The new trader will retain the same number of career points as they had before, but the player can choose a different class board and allocate the career points differently as they wish. You straight up come back as Mirror Mirror Kurt. And you still you got your gear. He just yeah. shows up. He shows up with a goatee. <laughs> so he shows up with a goatee as Bizarro Gak or something like that. But I got the, an okay result. Gak basically shows up and he's just like, he's, yeah. he's really banged up. Um, and so that's it. Now, we're not going to use these for the campaign. We're going to go and probably um, start our own crews and use the crew builder to like make our own stuff. Um, so the, the rest of the aftermath would be actually like managing your ship and stuff. Also, so that's distraction. Points we each got. That's right. And also advancement. This is where you uh, carry some advanced skills and become more powerful. You could trade. You could buy and sell equipment. Even hire new crew members. And then maintenance. Finally, the maintenance phase. You need to make uh, ship repairs and also upgrade between games. And then your win bonus. If a player wins a game, they get the first choice of which airlock to set up in the following one instead of rolling a chance dice or flipping the turn count. Seven value. They made it off the Having board. Lost all of Renton's gear. I had two. Uh, plus nine's eleven. Plus eight is nineteen. Uh, plus eight is twenty-seven. Plus four is thirty-one. Plus all this: thirty-one, yeah. thirty-five, forty. So at the start of the game, we basically have like a, a mothballed ship. We put the name in, and you have three boxes filled for your propulsion, life support supplies, and hull integrity. You lose one every time you play a game. And you can also lose some for like extra effects. Your hold works exactly like an item on the character tray. You can keep items that you don't want to sell or that you want to put on people. So when you flip your card over, your your entry here becomes your hold basically on your ship, and you note all of your um, additional like characteristics on there. Your assets, note down how much money you've got, so all of your universal assets would go into there. Uh, and then you've got your upgrades and stuff as well. So in the maintenance phase, assets can be spent to install various upgrades. So you can have level one, two, and three of each upgrade. So scanners, choose a cargo crate within medium range and look at the contents if you have level one. Uh, level two is choose a cargo crate anywhere on the board, look at the contents and put it back. Level three, you can reduce the hostility by up to two. Then based on the current hostility, you roll for the number and arrive uh, location of all Persian NPCs. Do you turn up this round? You may modify it by one up or down. Auto defenses, if someone uh, shows up in the same uh, room as your airlock, make a range attack drawing line of sight from the airlock door with three two ones. You have like turrets basically and unlimited ammo. 
Uh, you get make a range attack during line of sight, which is better guns, and then a passive once this upgrade's in place. The ship can activate once in each trader phase of the game, just like the rest of the crew, and attack other people. So you get auto guns, and then dog investors, you can move your ship board to any other point on the same side of the game area, it's the current location, move it to anywhere perpendicular, or you can move it anywhere opposite. So with dog investors, you can actually move around your airlock, which is pretty cool. Flip it, you actually mark the upgrades on the, uh, the docking side as well, which is pretty awesome. And then you got your, your emergency teleport, your permanent crew loss if they die, your advancement, so kill points. Uh, each time a character survives a mission, they get a career point, so you mark a career point on them, which means you get to unlock a new skill on their skill, their class thing too. Uh, and then level up, you'll notice that the career points in each of the trader's boards are in rows. When you fill a row completely with career points, you become the next level and you gain um, a skill point and an action point if you have any available. Well, these regular crewmen, they're not really going to gain much except for a skill point, but it means they can do more skills during the game. Uh, for Ariana though, she'd gain an action point because she's a captain. She'd be three actions by the end of all that. These are the missions where you can trade up your salvage and stuff using UA. It's the cost of buying and selling items on the back. The first value is how much it costs to buy it. The second value is how much when you sell it to the store. So you can basically dump all of your extra gear that you don't want to buy universal uh, uh, credits. And then you can't buy rare items, but you can buy other items that are basically in the pouch during the game. The list of available items are going to be in the different stores. And after each game, you need to choose one and only one of those stores to visit. You can get up close and personal for melee weapons, the Claw Store, the Armorote, the Tech Noir, the Geiger's Emporium. And then Raw Blue is a unique energy source that the Purge found. So I found some Raw Blue, but I think I left it behind. Um, and you actually get to roll to see what it does. You roll a chance sign on one or two, you get two UA for it. On a three to five, it's five. And on a six, someone desperate gives you a nine UA. You don't have to sell it after you roll the die, you can always save it for a better deal. It comes with all of your different stores. You get tons of missions, and you get a mini campaign called the Perseus Arm. It's basically the story of the Ion Hope and the Black Maria when they first kind of start out. Every mission gives you your setup, where everything's supposed to be, how many loot things to put in each crate, um, and then how many rare items to put in the bag. And you go through, I think there's 10 or 12 of them, plus some specialty ones as well. Such as, what was the one you were just showing me? This one. Purge in their thousands. We have to survive a huge attack of Purge uh, on a map as they just come in for 10 turns. Co-op ones too, which we'll probably give me a try in the future. And yeah, there's a second campaign in here with all kinds of stuff. Now, the, um, the expansion packs, every crew one gives you additional missions too. So you've got the Skylark and the Poseidon we'll be playing through as well. Uh, and then the back of the book is just a handy reference for all the skills and the game turn, and that's it. So there is our look at Core Space. So there we go, our first look at Core Space, a fun cooperative and competitive play um, skirmish game from Paddle Systems, using their very nice looking terrain. Gotta say, this out of the box is one of the nicest looking games I've played in a while. Um, it reminds me of HeroQuest or Space Crusade or any of those old classic games where you've got just a ton of like, scatter, there's chairs, there's tables, there's actually rules for interacting with them that we didn't use in this because we're just trying to show you basically the core components of the game where you can use small items like tablets and things to like huck them at people as a weapon. Um, and yeah, it, this it's got tons of character. The gameplay is crunchy but simple. Just having loot that comes out of boxes, it gives you lots of exciting kind of crackerjack moments, but at the same time, it's crunchy enough where the combinations are pretty infinite, and there's more and more coming out with every crew pack, so you're getting more and more expansions, more missions to play, and lots of story. I love the fact that you can make your own characters um, and add your own miniatures to the game and just really use whatever you want using the battle systems terrain and this core game system. So, I recommend this box. Uh, I like the um, expansion of the... Uh, the deluxe rule book as well because there's a little bit extra just like background fluff and, and rules and stuff in there as well that don't impact the core mechanics of the game but it's just like missions and little extra tidbits. So yeah, so check it out. Um, it's available from Battle Systems. I'll link all the relevant information below and we'll see you for another Let's Play. Thanks a lot, Mash. Have a good me. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below to get notifications of when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Desperate Designs, um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible, uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else, and most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.